London Zodian Theatre Marmalade was the setting for this year's Royal Film Show, bringing 10,000 fans to greet their screen favourites from both sides of the Atlantic and keeping the police fully occupied. British star Jean Kent in gleaming high-collared cape was one of the early arrivals, as were Margaret Lockwood and John Mills. Googie Weathers was partnered by husband John McCallum. And here's Errol Flynn, one of the stars of the command film, followed by Rosalind Russell and Anne Southern. And so to that crowning moment, the arrival of the royal party. Their majesties, the king and queen, accompanied by Princess Elizabeth and Princess Margaret. Among the first to be presented by leading representatives of all branches of the film industry, and then followed a familiar but always charming routine. Flowers for the Queen, presented by six-year-old Victoria Hutchinson. <music> Princess Elizabeth's bouquet was presented by the five-year-old son of film star Derek Bond, and Princess Margaret's by seven-year-old Brian Hutchinson. Soon, the royal family were taking their places of honour before the film of the evening, this year an American production. Then, the presentation of the stars themselves. Greer Garson, whom their majesties had just seen on the screen, Errol Flynn, and also enjoying a joke with the king, Douglas Fairbank. Trevor Howard figured in this conversation piece, and Margaret Lockwood in this. Genial Ben Lyon, his wife, Bibi Daniels, and John Mills. Yet another British star, Jean Simmons, shared in a memorable occasion, and the Queen obviously enjoyed her talk with Anna Neagle. From the producers of the chosen screen production came the gift to their majesties of two specially bound copies of the book of the film. And so at last it was time for the royal party to say goodbye after an evening of goodwill long to be remembered by all who shared in it. <laughs> <laughs>